Hi, I'm Tony Quiroga, and this is Window Shop with Car and Driver, the weekly show where Car and Driver editors, staffers, and friends gather to look at cars online based on a challenge. This week's challenge is somewhat related to our guest this week, uh, Mr. Jason Camisa, who uh, is over at Haggerty doing some videos. Uh, Jason just did a fantastic video, which you guys should check out, on the 500E, the Mercedes-Benz built by Porsche from the early 90s. And um, that sort of inspired this challenge, which is sleeper cars. So cars that are fast that uh, don't look fast. Uh, so we've uh, set a budget of $20,000 and we've gone in search. Uh, so Jason is here. Hi, Jason. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, contributor John Burley Huffman. Former uh, contributor <laughs> Jonathan Ramsey. And Deputy <laughs> Testing Director, Mr. Casey Colwell. Um, I just want to preface this whole thing with uh, some people call them Q-ships, and that's not to be confused with Q-Anon. Or q <laughs> Or do you, do you know why they call them Q-ships? Queen. Uh, naval Queen ships. Term. Yeah. From the Irish port where they kept the disguised cargo frigates, uh, Queenstown, I think it was, Queenstown, Ireland. How, how long did, how long oh, did, I thought you, it was how long did you live there, Jonathan? <laughs> I was only in Ireland for a year. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, Pearly, you want to kick it off? I do. Uh, I, first of all, uh, as, as remain on brand, I of course started off with like I wanted a truck. I wanted a fast truck because they're the best. Okay. And Everyone got their a truck ready. Oh, <laughs> look at that! It's a two thousand two thousand seven Toyota Tundra. 5.7 liter, short bed, regular cab. I, I can't find any tests of these, but the, the ones with the you know four wheel drive and extended cabs were like a 6.3. So this is probably like a 5.8, 5.9. This if weighs, it can hook a thousand, up. weighs a thousand pounds less. I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything else. I couldn't find one of those levers. And this one is in San Diego. This one's been lowered and it's okay. I would, I'd, rather have, I'd rather have this one, which is from the press at launch in 2007. But because it's just complete Q ship, it looks like any other truck, and they're just they're really fast for what they are. It's three hundred eighty-five horsepower. Is that what you said? Three eighty-one. It's a four hundred. It's basically a four hundred, <clears throat> a four hundred horsepower truck. That's dead stone reliable. Uh, not a lot of room in it or anything else like that. But if you talk about a Q ship, does it? Doesn't uh, Toyota TRD, Toyota Racing Development, don't they offer a blower for this engine too? They had a blower for the 4.7, not for the 5.7. Oh, uh, they do. I thought they would. And, uh, you know, the 5.7 is, you know, it's, it's not as, it's not as, it has not proven out to be as reliable as the 4.7, which is ridiculously reliable. But um, it's still a good engine. It's just, you know, it's very powerful for what it is, especially for its time for 2007. Pump, pump the brakes. How is there not a bench seat in this regular cab pickup? Because this is the sport edition. This one's a sport edition. It's and uh, I would I would prefer a bench seat on a regular one with still with the five seven in it. That's what I would look for. If I was buying it, but this is twenty thousand nine ninety five. Which well, is, did they even offer a bench? Yes, I think they did. If I remember correctly. What do you mean? That's what you'd look for. What did you? Why, why didn't you? Well, I couldn't find one. I couldn't find one that was just that was a non sport edition that was in good enough shape to, at twenty for twenty twenty thousand dollars. Right, fair enough. Fair enough. It was yeah. a last minute challenge. It was, and uh, you know this is a this is a this is a good looking truck, and it's they're they're beasts. And if you talk about Q ship, this one's the size of a Q ship. Not the color of a Q ship, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. Should we ding him on the color? I think maybe. Yeah, I would. The, I still like I said, this is the one I want. I remember I remember driving this at the, at the press launch with Ben Stewart and the guys and with me, and it's a they're really quick, for but for five. What is zero to sixty on these? Well, this, the ones I could find the test were for four wheel drive, extended cab, long oh, bed. They okay. were about six three. This one's probably around five eight, five nine. Hmm. How much lighter? Do you know? But to Casey's point, if you could get it, if you could get it to hook up, yeah, like it, a four. It, four they, they, actually, they actually hook up, they hook up, hook up fine. Um, it, it, they're about a thousand pounds lighter. I mean, you, you take off the you take off the the extra cab. You take off the you take out about eight inches of wheelbase. You take out um, you take out the four wheel drive system. It gets, you know, it's still a 5,000 pound truck, but it's not a 5,800 pound truck. Do they still make the regular cab new? I don't know. I'm not sure with the, um, the work truck. 
but I don't think, but uh, I, I'm not sure. I'm, well, now I'm going to take a look because. Uh, well, Ram kept building um, old, the previous generation Ram because they didn't have a regular cab for the new generation. Yeah. Is there a new generation red cab? Did that come out? I don't, oh, I don't know if there's a new generation. I just remember seeing the, uh, yeah, the classic. classic. The Ram yeah, yeah, they did, yeah, they did Ram classic and. Um, yeah, which is, you know, it makes a certain amount of sense because for, you know, the, the people who are buying commercial don't care that it's stylish. And retail customers all want the four doors. Well, that was a very predictable choice, Pearly. A good Thank choice. But, but that, was, that was a good choice. That was a good looking truck. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Think, I think it's, a, you know, it, it, if you're going to go for, if you're going to go for a sleeper, nothing says sleeper than, you know, putting a lawnmower in the back of the truck and telling people that it's, that it's slow. And the best part as those things get lighter every day with the rust issues. So every day they get, they lose another six pounds uh, of iron. And so at this point it could be a, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, coming, you know, I live in California where we don't have those problems. I don't know. Somehow I think those things produce their own rust. It was like something, the fuel cell that goes in there. And just, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Actually, actually the rust problems were actually on the first generations of the frames came out of a, I don't remember who it was. It was the frames that were rusting. They didn't. Have, they haven't had that many problems since the second generation. The, the second generation time. I like it. Not Your that facts many. are interrupting my jokes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Please to defend the, I mean, you have. He's going to defend the Tundra to the death. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's the second the second generation Tundra, which is not the Tundra I prefer, but it is. A, you know, it's a, it's a it, 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 it's a good truck. And thank you very much. Let me win. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, Probably the six seconds zero to sixty. Sorry. Uh, who wants to go next, Casey? You want to go next? Okay, yeah, I'll go. Um, so uh, here, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, I found uh, um, uh, a beautiful eighty-nine thousand mile uh, two thousand five. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Can you go back to the listing? Like this is. Is this the owner's picture looking yeah, like I'm an Airbnb? About that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But William is verified. What is the problem? Oh, oh my God. Hey, the okay. seller has a valid ID. Right. Well, oh, that, a one of uh, one. Well, well, that, yeah, I wasn't gonna get into that because I'm I'm pretty sure he's misrepresenting the um, the rarity of this vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cause he says this color with like a blue, it's like silver with a blue hue is <laughs> Is a one of one, like you know. So William is verified. Paint to sample, a paint to sample W twelve. I I don't I I that color looks pretty familiar. Um, Jason can probably tell you exactly. I mean, it looks like called. Porsche's polar silver. Yeah, exactly. But maybe that was special on the A eight. I don't know. Maybe. Do you think if you if you show up to this guy's house, he's going to be wearing a tux like in the photo? I from him if he weren't. Maybe, but uh, to add to the sl the sleeper cred, a it's got the sweet executive four seat package. Oh, I don't know if you all had that. Our our run review of this had the same um, same interior package. Uh, these are moderately quick, five one to sixty, um, over hundred miles an hour in the quarter. Um, not the quickest thing in the world. About one hundred twenty thousand dollars new. Oh yeah, and yeah, yours yeah. for how much is it? Uh, it's like eighteen. And it says it's seven thousand dollars overpriced by the right six. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Or sixty three hundred dollars over. Yeah. over 18, well, 18 it's, it's one of one, Jason. It's one. Of one. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Clearly, the algorithm is not accounting yes. for the uh, because everyone who does individual colors does the silver over, you know, over black. Combo. <laughs> and I want to know. I want to know who at Audi he spoke to. <laughs> yeah. Danky yeah. and he, you know the the, the PR uh, guys uh, was drunk. I think Audi, Audi calls this blue cream of mushroom soup. <laughs> no, no, no. Cream of you see, it's called corporate, according to the <laughs> yeah, yeah, according to yeah. I, I again, I don't, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not putting, I wasn't putting a lot of weight on this person's ad. <laughs> um, I like his car, however, and I would probably negotiate it down a little bit if I were to buy it. I mean, look at the size of that trunk. Mm -hmm. You could fit and another W twelve in there, <laughs> and it would fix the weight distribution yeah. problem. <laughs> uh, this is an interesting option that it had. Our long term S eight uh, had this, but it's basically just a a trickle charger for the twelve volt battery. Um, so the sunroof never is glass; it's either open or shut. But it's got a little um, a photovoltaic uh, panel. There. Wasn't, wasn't that also that so that you could like cool the car with? The yeah, air? did they use it for the HVAC? 
yeah, you could you could set it up to. I, I don't think you could run air conditioning, but you could set it up so that the, that it would run the fans. So you would at least bring fresh air in, so the air wouldn't get stale. But um, yeah, it evacuated the leather smell. Yeah, clear out all those farts. <laughs> uh, but also, uh, this this as far as the sleeper goes, this is a a, a fame a, a, a film famous automobile, a Jason Statham. Statham <laughs> piloted this in uh, the Transporter Two, um, <laughs> one of two thousand sixes. And wait, were you? Were I'm, you contacting... with, I'm making that up. What's that? I was gonna, were you? Were you contacting this guy? Like your info is in the email box on the right. Oh, well, oh it sure is. Out. Uh, or are you verified as well? Along yeah. How do you get verified on Car Gurus? <laughs> Uh, Why? I don't know. <laughs> Would you be verified? I don't know. Should I, should, I go, should, I, should I try to get a green check? It's like I think, you get uh, a green check and a blue check. Um, you're gonna have to have you're gonna have to have William write your letter of reference. As a matter of principle, I would never buy an Audi A8 or S8 just because the President oh. of the Motors Association has one. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Yes, and what do you think your HOA is two thousand dollars a month is to keep that thing on the road? Um, <laughs> funny story about these wheels. Uh, Tony um, bought them. Are they these wheels? No, the Phaeton wheels look close to that, but those are. Oh, okay. It was a wheel that looked close to this, but he put it on a Mark V GTI, the so, body kit. So, how much does it cost to like get a, I don't know, an oil change of these things? I mean, what do they use? Like 48 quarts of oil? It has to be oh, like. Right. We're, we're using out of it go wet. So, I don't think it's it's a crazy amount of oil that, that's in there. Yeah, but it's like, it's like some sort of everything about, everything about that engine is exotic and it's going to break and it's going to shatter. It'll probably be worth more with. <laughs> It'd probably be worth more with like less. <laughs> what, what, it, what, it, what, it, what it lacks what, what? In, in reliability, it, uh, it it makes up for with a with a lack of, of iron oxide. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, it, 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 the fact that it's aluminum means it's not going to rust. It's just going to destroy itself from within. It corrodes. It, 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 oh it, aluminum goodness. corrodes. But yeah, it's not. I mean, this is a this is a, an, an aluminum space frame vehicle. Um, yeah, and cool cars. They're, they're great to watch being built and they are that engine is going to absolutely 100 percent grenade before you even get the thing home why oh my god uh, I, I mean really I, it's an unstressed, really? it's an unstressed version of the bentley engine it doesn't yeah. have a turbocharger strapped to it yeah. it's fine it's no. two vr sixes yeah. and why and why and why is it that the w12s are less are less valuable in in many vehicles than in, in the uh than with the v8 version the air Wait. suspension that comes with it it's all the that's, other crap. That's going to be another twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> that's the real problem. Yeah, that's another twenty thousand dollars. So you know, the thing is, is that so the thing is the thing is 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 pre dropped on its springs, and it's before the uh, the engine is cracked open in part like a walnut shell. So the entire car is just a one hundred percent maintenance headache waiting to happen. It is a sleeper though. It's a sleeper because it's going to spend most of its time at the shop. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Burley. I think it looks fast on a lift. We're getting close to. Is anyone getting close to bingo? I heard HOA. I heard, <laughs> oh, that is yeah, California there's a lot. HOA. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. right, Jason, you're up. You want to go next? Oh no, but I will. What did you choose? Well, so I chose a bunch of things because no one told me what the rules were. Oh yeah, we've uh, changed since the last time you were on, we which was like what more than six months month. ago. You yeah. Were... yeah th thanks for watching. I mean. <laughs> 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 wait, 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 that was on. my joke from before recording. Per oh, here we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he has copyrighted that. <laughs> you cannot use it without permission. No, Casey, Casey I admit to swiping. Oh. So, so, all right. That's this is way. not my choice. Oh. This is an LS four hundred swapped Cressida for eighty five hundred bucks, which would be quick. Um, then you guys can see this now. I've switched to the two JZ swapped. Yeah, Supra which would also be quick, except it's not quick enough because that's just a naturally aspirated one. So instead I chose an 07 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8, which was, if I looked it up right, like four, seven to 60 or some outrageous amount of speed. Look at that, barely looks like not a mommy mobile. Oh, come on, look at the size of those wheels and tires. They can't, yeah, do, giant please, exhaust. people put 22s on these things. And the monochromatic, uh, and the guy, add, and the guy has added a Hellcat badge just to add extra douchebaggery to it. There's, there's fifty dollars left in the price to have that removed. <laughs> <laughs> That's that can buy a lot of dental floss and goo gone. Yeah, I mean it's a hundred and thirty-five thousand mile. Oh, 
Cam and Block V8 from the year of the flood. That's fine. It'll last forever. <laughs> they were 400 and, 420 horsepower. Yeah, I think so. I think they were, I think they were slightly downrated in the Grand Cherokee versus like the 300 C. Yeah, the all-wheel drive. The all-wheel drive. It was only like five horsepower or something. So I'm looking at it right now. Hold on, I was wrong. It's 4.5 seconds. Car and driver official results from the internet because Tony <laughs> won't give me the big spreadsheet, all the good stuff. I would have sent four five to sixty, thirteen two at one hundred and four. Which oh, I want everything. Give me every all testing numbers. Um, okay. See how easy that is. Pulled 0.88 on the skid pad. I mean, but thirteen two at one hundred and four means it's as fast as that W twelve Bentley, and it will never break. It's Not quite. quite Oh, wait a second, yeah. never, ne not you're talking about a, fast. oh, wait a second, a 14 year old Chrysler product and you're saying it will never break. With 135,000 miles. <laughs> yeah. Those Jeep. are really, uh, yeah, I mean, this thing's never been brake torqued. <laughs> no, of course not. Look at and that. Do you know what kind of brake torque you have to do to get that four set, that, that four or five out of it? The whole no, car like you lurches. Yeah. yeah. They're it's cool cars. I don't think it's a sleeper though. Casey, really? remember when I put one of these into the tire wall at VIR? I do. It was it was it was in the rain. We were trying to drive the track, and it was a little slick. I wasn't even I going. Believe, I, I wasn't going to bring that up. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> oh, but we're glad you did. <laughs> <laughs> Tell it us was more. very 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 low speed. It was really stupid. It was really stupid. Yeah, you said you basically just like weren't paying attention and just over. Yeah, I didn't even really. I I was I was going so slow. I wasn't even really threatened by the slide. And then I found the grass, and yeah. <laughs> I just I just you know I just don't know if these. If, those giant wheels and tires, the black paint, everything's body monochrome. I don't know how much of a sleeper it is. It's got well, a that's, that's it's probably got perfect. That's why high. here, there we go. There's your sleeper. <laughs> <laughs> I changed my engine, and you got twelve thousand dollars under budget to turn on this thing. <laughs> that thing looks really noisy. I bet it's yeah. noisy. I mean, and, and talk about ne never going to break. I wouldn't trust. It's a any Toyota. I mean, I chose. You know, or fine, find this one. How about this? <laughs> I'll just keep changing my choices. I don't really care. But I do. Uh, I I do say a V8 swapped Cressida wagon, kind of cool. Are those real BBS LMs? I, I doubt it. Yeah. Oh my um, god! You actually had know the name of that wheel? Of course. Don't. Why don't you? <laughs> you you, you and, don't look uh, at that and you say, yeah, that's an that's an LM. You don't. <laughs> It does and not you're say, going to work for road. Hold on, there. I know. I, I know. I, I suck. That <laughs> wasn't on the entrance NPs. exam. <laughs> my, my my guy. Uh, what, what I mean, great, look, great. Jason. You trust Jason wrote that entrance exam for Larry like ten years ago. <laughs> Jason, you trust random dude on Craigslist doing all this to a Cressida? Yeah, I mean, you talk about reliability. Look, you know. look at Those how detail oriented just... he has a mask. Wait, is that a two? <laughs> I, I mean, didn't realize, Jason, I didn't realize that was a 2UZ in that thing. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, yeah. That's but I mean, I mean look that's at that, the fastest that's your favorite engine ever. It, that's a good, that's a great engine. You'd be better if it's the 4.7. But the, uh, but the, 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 and I love the Crescent. The Crescent is a wonderful car. I just, I just don't know if I'd want, if I, I trust the bailing wire engineering that's going into it, when you look at the front bump, you look have at that front bumper. Twelve thousand dollars to un f it up. Hold on, what was the price of this one? That's not yeah, when, when, eleven yeah. five. It's eleven thousand. You might need a lot more money than that. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, mean, there's, there's, there's I mean, I, there's, hold on. And where, where did that bumper even come from? Because that's not that bumper doesn't even cover. You, the, wait, does this ad say how much he has into it? Because I love ads. Okay, like, I, mean, I have over eighty thousand dollars into this. <laughs> No, new, he well, it says new he ball doesn't because it's probably a really embarrassing number. <laughs> With, oh, there it is right there. Disc breaks. So he already says it broke already. And yeah. <laughs> Well, I also like the fact that I don't think there are any two body panels that quite match in color. No, it's a Harlequin edition, Cressida. <laughs> yes. um, every every panel is a different color. Mm. Those aren't, he said, the listing said they were Enkies, not BB. They well, he, they, he, he said Enkies. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're in case. Uh, I, you know, I, I like the idea of this car much more than the reality of it. I love that he smogs it. He has to smog it. Yeah. That's Welcome cool. to California. He did. But, I mean, you, you trust the rebuilt with ECU upgraded yeah, yeah, wait, capacitors. Wait, wait. Upgraded How does he capacitors? Smog of course. You want more voltage or gigawatts or something. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Tony, Tony, how does he smog this? And wait, it's it's like the engine, the engine, the yeah, engine. The en no, that, that's an engine. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you, you can pass smog in California simply by the fact that it's all the all the uh, smog equipment intact. 
That's they passed the visual inspection. You but this, but this engine was never sold in this car. Correct. Matter. You don't need to. As long as you keep the take the engine and the exhaust uh, system and the emission systems complete from the in this case ninety five from the donor vehicle. You have to take the systems all complete, and you have to pass the test. Right. After that, you're fine. Yeah. And uh, do you have to take the sticker too? Do you have to put the? Do you have to have the? Uh, they put a sticker under the hood. They they make one for you. When you they make it. a yeah uh, a car smog legal bar sticker. stamp second gen nineteen ninety five LS four hundred. Cool. Mm. Yeah. So which 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 ones which one's your sleeper, Jason? Are you sticking with this wagon? <laughs> it was the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Was yeah, I'll stick with the wagon. Either way, clearly you guys are all bitches. Like, <laughs> you're, you're gonna be. I think you might. Me. I mean, you might want to stick with the Jeep. I, I, there's no guarantee of anything, but you might want to go. I, you you're the shoe fits. Me. I can't trust. That. I, don't, I don't. I don't really care. I just think it was really cool that somebody uh, V8 swapped that I, and I, somebody two JZ swapped this one. I mean, come on. <laughs> And I, you know, I found them all on Craigslist. What could possibly? Oh, I think they're, yeah, I think they're great in theory. I think they're fantastic in theory. I just that one looks like it's it's had the removal of all suspension travel. But what also, if you know, we one have, of Curly's big things is you shop the you shop the seller, not the car. And I would, I would guys, need to have a it, a couple of beers with the sellers to this figure is out what's car really and driver. Here. This is not Consumer Reports. I demand <laughs> a little bit of enthusiasm. And not uh, like, well, yeah. he's uh, going to have one black star for predicting well, reliability. Don't what did that. you just say? You just like, you just gave that, that beautiful A8L W12 an absolute roasting. <laughs> yeah, because you because chose you're it like, oh, no, it's going to break and like air spring. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, like, and then you present these reports. things that, 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 I mean, what is, is that? Is that primer gray? <laughs> no, that's oxid oxidation gray. And look, you yeah. know what? I'm that's sticking why, with my that's why these sites are blacklisted at, at Consumer Reports. You can't exactly. get to. You that, guys can all a, suck it. Craigslist. I'm sticking with my SRT8 because <laughs> ain't none of you found a car that can beat a 4.5 to 60 for under 20 grand looking like that. I have a feeling um, none of these Craigslist sellers are verified, Jason. <laughs> oh no! Really? Now what? <laughs> the, question, the question is if they're ver if they're verified. The question is if they're incarcerated. So <laughs> this look. This guy makes it fast and easy. <laughs> Clearly, that's a sign of verification. No, and look, and I don't, I don't care about if they're incarcerated or if they can spell. I, I, I just, I can't understand the listing, and I don't know what they really did. <laughs> that's the issue. Well, so, all service, all service done in four two new tires upgrades, upgrades. It has upgrades <laughs> with three <laughs> exclamation points. Oh, this is a dealer. This is a dealer. This is yeah, yeah. completely Good. legit. Credit, bad credit, no credit. We're there. Reposition, <laughs> bankruptcy, foreclosure, SSI, disability, or government HOA assistance. lien. Right. No, no, no. <laughs> Does it say anywhere your job is your going to hurt? <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't really give any actual data on this. I don't really care. It's for the challenge. All right. I mean, you know, but you know damn well that thing is fast and it doesn't, yeah. most people outside of nerds like us don't realize that a Jeep Grand Cherokee is going to give a 911 a run for its money. Fair that's, enough. That's a cute shit. All right. It's, just, it's, it's, it's a 14 year old Chrysler product with 140,000 miles on. <laughs> what could go wrong? Reliability is the most important thing to Pearly this week because he chose a Toyota Tundra. Because he said his, <laughs> cause he's interviewing <laughs> Consumer Reports. Consumer right, Reports, you know, Consumer Reports return my resume unread. Okay, thanks Pearly. <laughs> Uh, Jonathan, you're up next. You had a red, you had a red receipt on that email. Yeah. Um, so uh, yet again, I have followed one of my peers with my choice, and uh, this is the actual car that Jason Statham drove in at Transporter Two, uh, but they made his look like two-wheel drive 2008 Audi S8, which is, I admit, less of a sleeper. Than. But with these wheels, it really doesn't look like anything special. We're gonna have to we're I mean, gonna have to clear this up right now. It it, it was without a doubt uh, W twelve. Ooh, that Statham drives. Yeah, yeah, it's W twelve. In Statham. Transporter two, it, it's yeah. Is it, well then when he drove in Transporter one, did he drive uh, an S eight? He had an E thirty eight. So I originally looked for an E thirty eight. Oh, that's right, the seven fifty. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, this is seven thirty five. Seven thirty five. Okay. But uh, yeah, no, and then in two, it was a W12. And I remember being like, what gives? Because the, the S8 hadn't come out when uh, Transporter 2 was being made. Yeah, no, it was, a, it's, I, have a, I have a photo up of the, of, the, um, of the Transporter car if anybody wants to see it. 
<laughs> this looks like our long-term car, Casey. Remember our long-term uh, one that got wrecked. Lamborghini engine. Yeah, wait, yeah, yeah. So is it, do we? Is this a Craigslist set? Oh, it's too bad. Um, yeah, because that engine was. Uh, that, that's the only nightmare thing about these cars is that if you have to do anything, you have to pull the engine. The so only yeah, nightmare yeah. thing. It's one of many nightmare things. V10. Well, this is, this, this is the same V10 they used in the uh, S6, right? Yeah, the five, yeah. Two, the five two version of the Lamborghini, basically a Lamborghini engine. Yeah, the Gallardo. But you, I mean, you can't find the F6s anywhere. I look for them, which is why there's one yep. there, but nowhere else. This might be also, our long term car. What, is the VIN on it? That's what I was thinking, Casey. Is it our long term car? A car, another car that was crashed. This is like the cars that were crashed. Episode. Wasn't that car crash like turning into hogback road or something? Oh yeah, yeah. And it was, and it was. Oh, well, and so these are space frames. Obviously, you know, like we talked about the space frames. And if you get into frame damage, there's only like at the at the time. This was obviously you know over ten years ago. But at the time, there were only a handful of shops in the U.S. that had a space frame jig, um, where they literally they take the wheels off, they put it on the jig, and cut off what doesn't fit, and then weld in new parts and. Um, that was our long-term uh, and um, then later uh, power steering rack failed. And to fix that, the, uh, the engine had to come out again. So the engine was in and out of that car three times. What was the bill on the repair for the accident? Like 50 it was huge. I always remember 60 being the number, but then somebody, yeah, yeah, it was, it was like a hundred. I think it was, I think it's, it's still, uh, that's the most expensive long-term car we've ever we've ever borrowed it was like a hundred twenty hundred thirty thousand dollars yeah who who wrecked it uh I'm i mean sorry. i guess you know it wasn't like it wasn't tony anybody swan. here but I, I mean tony swan did um okay oh, he's, he admits yeah. that in the in the in the long-term rap i believe he identifies himself as your humble narrator uh um, oh. so you have to then go look at a byline to find out who actually that's the thing that, about but... tony swan it's always his humility that really got to me <laughs> Take it easy. Take it easy. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was. Uh, you were. You're almost out of bullets, Pearly. You might want to. Has anyone gotten yourself. bingo yet? Has anyone gotten bingo? <laughs> yeah. I heard an unfunny thing, an unfunny joke, and a funny joke too. <laughs> <laughs> the so I chose this one because also it, it has uh, it's like one owner or two owner, and it has all the records. It does have 145 thousand miles, um, but I also really like this car, so. And with my money, I would get new wheels since I have, uh, what, eight grand? Oh, then you yeah. make it less of a sleeper. Oh, yeah, make it less of a sleeper? Yeah. Whoa, 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 the whoa, limo tent to the just, big I just wheels. need to win the competition. If, After if, that, if the wheels are going to buy anything but black and steel, Jonathan, it's not a sleeper you, anymore. Jonathan, can you zoom in a little bit on your whole browser? just so we Here's can... my question, Tony. What does that do? So just, just click on the photo and make it That's got to be. No, I wanted to see the listing. I wanted to see the listing. Oh, you want to see the listing. Got it. Yeah, he's pretty excited about the four new Michelin tires, as he should be. <laughs> he's really good at spelling things wrong, obviously. So it's got doesn't have suede; it has yeah. suade. Eh? Of all people, really, one hundred percent. Really, solar. You solar power option. You charge your battery. <laughs> oh man, it's one letter but, away. You know, the good thing is it's the Bang and Olsen premium yes. sound system. Hey, you look, know, you know that old, it, this is not when that came out. Those little those little tweeters in the front motored up and down. Amazing. That was all the rage. Yeah. But but was that the this is the Bunny and Olsen system. This is not the Bunny and Olsen system. Yeah, this is exactly. like the designer imposters version of that. Yeah, this is like this is the one you, this is the one you get at <laughs> Remain <laughs> Table. Yeah, I don't he's old enough to remember that. <laughs> I don't think um this seller is uh Craigslist verified, Jonathan. <laughs> <That's>, um, well, <laughs> Hold on, click on show contact information about call. Let's run his number and see who it is. It, it, anyone who would take the time to get verified on a car sales site is someone I don't want to be. I mean, I'm meeting him at a police station with uh, with friends. Okay, it's got the it's got the power heated mirrors too. Um, Solar power. Yeah, there's a lot of misspellings. Mirrors are great. I don't understand. Don't they have um, spell check? Uh, spell check. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> not when it's all ca not when caps lock is on. Yeah. Oh, that's exactly. True. That's true. That's true. But I I, I can't believe we're this worried about. I mean, spelling that's close enough for a great. Oh, car. come on! It's just fun. It's just it's fun to rag on people who aren't here, who we don't know. It's we'll an never eat. though. Is it that much of a sleeper? Why didn't you get an A8 with the four liter twin turbo? Because I really like this one, and I'm probably the other reason I chose this car is because I'm probably going to get one of these to replace the Buick, which is what I decided when. Are I, you really? I, yeah. Oh, that's awesome! One of the Lamborghini powered ones. Why not? Oh my yes. God! Yes, I support you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I 
So as I was looking for these, I was like, I yeah, I this Tony was just trying to talk me out of the, out of this. <laughs> I know, but I'll talk you into it, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> I just said, well, this, I'm I'm just thinking as a winter beater for next winter. You know, I did a beer for one winter. Now I do the uh, transporter straight to video Audi. <laughs> Unlike us. Pearly's, can't rust. Yeah, well, you know, you know. I, you you wound Sorry, me. Just don't and even. it has the it has the carbon fiber package, which I like because uh, I don't I like the wood. Um, and like I said, it's got receipts and he's taking care of it. So yeah, and, it, and Jonathan, does this mean you're going to be on my HOA board? I <laughs> he's applied. Burley, we're all on your HOA the, board. This is your I new mean, HOA board meeting. Yeah. If you're Any inviting me, Pearly. it's a it, well. You are my Zoom mate. <laughs> So yeah, I just thought it was a great car wait, 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 and wait. great money. And I'm willing to take a chance on whatever might happen. It's I only just, two owners. It said the first owner was corporate. Oh, it could have been a press Find owner. the VIN. Find the VIN, because if this is our old car, don't buy it. Casey, you can. <laughs> That'd be amazing. What a great coincidence. It would be. That car, I'm sure, that, I, I'm sure that car was crushed. Where was it, where was it made? What, what, where is this car? This car is in, well, I mean, now it's can in- you, um, Can you click on that Carfax? Yeah, make the Carfax bigger. Kansas it City. says it was California. I'm trying to remember, we may have had a California plate on that car. I don't know. I think it had a Michigan uh, manufacturer plate, Casey. Yeah, but then it wasn't registered, so it doesn't matter. It, doesn't, it only matters where it's titled. The manufacturer plates don't, don't show up on Carfax. Um, I mean, two previous owners. It's got 46 history records. That's so look, really well, it's, really and it's got <laughs> the VIN. That could be ours. <laughs> <laughs> that looks suspicious. Well, what well, says 6,500? How, how many miles on it when you guys turned it in? There's the VIN right there. Yeah. It ends in 1013. Only one of you guys do the, do the... 2009. All right. Uh, we got to keep moving. Okay. Yeah. Keep moving. <laughs> Whatever. The VIN's Next. there. Okay. Wait, let me screen. Uh, send oh, me a screen grab. All right. Just send me screen um, grab. Okay. Acquiring minds want to know. Casey, we can we can take a look in post after the show. Uh, okay. Are you guys ready to see the winner? We already have. No, you haven't. Yes, we have. <laughs> we probably have. I mean, odds are we have. Yeah. <laughs> another A8. Another A8. <laughs> no. Look at this. So oh my really? God. Stop. This is a over budget. This is over budget. Stop it is right over budget. Is and and over budget. that's not negotiating range. That's, that's 25 percent of price. Price. This, is a, this is a typhoon that's been disguised as a blazer. That's correct, Pearly. It was in a car accident early in its life, and the guy who bought it bought it from the insurance company and took off all the typhoon stuff and put on all the S10 blazer stuff. It <laughs> is spectacular. <laughs> okay, Tony, Ultimate. can I just make a quick accusation? Yes. The, the inspiration for this episode had nothing to do with my 500E episode and had everything to do with the fact that you found this and you're like, I found this and it's the <laughs> ultimate sleeper. So there's going to be an ultimate sleeper challenge because I'm Tony Quiroga. Just take the compliment. <laughs> Just take the great video compliment. No, no, no. Actually, I almost presented uh, this car. Oh, I God. A four liter Audi A8, which is a 3.9 to 60 car. I even like found my old story. And then I remembered that I had seen this bad boy. Do we have an interior shot? And Jason, if I had come up with this, I would have said this. I would have said that our budget was twenty five thousand. Just you know, to cheat further. You did it Tony, are, you, are you sure? Are you sure this is a, this is what he says it is? Because this thing sits awfully high for a typhoon. No, it's just the. I think the overall diameter of the wheels and tires are. Uh, are Large, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, should I should tell you my story about crashing a typhoon. Oh really? Yes, Let it rip while we're scrolling through these photos. Yeah, I was uh, I my uh, one of the I was the first person to get a typhoon to test when I was working at Carcraft. I I snaked it out and I went to the test <laughs> and because uh, I, I I talked to the company that built made it into which was anyhow I got the car before anybody else I got the truck and for my first time I was going to test out at Chrysler with Don Sherman was going to help me out because he was working for Motortron at the time so I show up with the with the thing at, at Chrysler. And I'm going like, so I talked to Don, I go, Don, you know, what I really want for this, for this photo is I want to get a shot where the car is like jumping up in the air. I want to put all four wheels off the ground. Nice. And he goes, do you know any place we can do that around here? He goes, yeah, we can do it here. We can do it here. We can do it here. We come up on, you have these pads, these, these pads that rise up there. Do you just go fast enough? So I go, so I start off there and I go, the first time I do it like 30 miles hard, the car goes, nothing. So I do it at 45, goes, nothing. 
Then I do it like I hit it, the turbo's kicking. I do it at 65. And the thing goes, wah! Flies over the pad, goes down the other side, almost rolls, p- bends over the bumper. And Sherman goes, let's get out of here. And we, ran, <laughs> <laughs> and we ran, we went back to his house. We took a chain. We put it under the bumper. He pulled it out. And, and then he said, don't say anything to anybody. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Of course, it somebody surprised me at all. How many times I've heard Don Sherman say, "Don't say anything to anybody." <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, and no one noticed. No, oh, yeah, somebody, somebody did noticed. notice. Think? <laughs> and and oh and and, and, uh, and motor train got in trouble, and my career flashed in front of my eyes, and uh, and because I was still wearing a car crap, but motor train was already mad at me. But and, here you uh, are, thirty years later. Everything. Here I am, 30, 30 years later, and I can't hold down a job. Oh so. my god. Um, so wait. All right, this thing's pretty cool. This thing's pretty cool. Um, I have so the to say interior. That. He left the interior alone. So the interior is the stock Typhoon interior, which is yeah. actually really cool with the. Leather. Did you did you actually like the Typhoon? Yeah, I loved it. A I love the Typhoon. Mine, a friend of mine, a friend of mine's father, ordered a um, a Cyclone for a client when I was in high school, and we knew where the keys were hidden, and we would sneak that thing out and and just rip it up, and it was yeah. like mind blowingly quick. It yeah. was uh, five. Five three to sixty. I think this is timed out. Oh no! You guys, it beat a it it beat a Corvette in the rain or something like a zero one in the rain, if I remember correctly. Oh, I believe that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, that was on the cover. Of and then we Corvette. also had the that cover, was... the ninety six thousand dollars Sting, where it was quicker yeah. than a Ferrari three forty eight. What issue is that? That was, that, was March... a, that was a Cyclone, though. That wasn't a Typhoon, right? That was a Cyclone. March that was a Cyclone. But I mean, these were the Cyclone and the Typhoon actually both did sixty and five three, and the production car. Yeah. There were some early prototypes of the Cyclone that were quicker, but um, yeah, five, yeah. So they had the, they had the boost cranked way up on those, right? Yeah, and they, they, that, they, wasn't that the stink of that story? But yeah, look, Jason, nice short gearing. First is thirty one. So look you at know, that. I, I know how you hate long gearing. I hate long gears. Have you driven one of these? This is hold on. Tony's no. crawling for votes, Jason. Don't 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 buy it. Don't fall into that. <laughs> no, yeah, the but truth see, is, that, long, so that, that short gearing is all screwed up by these tall tires, though. <laughs> I I don't know. Uh, no, these are. I think it's a smaller over. I don't know what it is. I, anyway, there's the, they they are pretty clearly a wonderful vehicle. I can't. I can't argue. Ooh, wonderful. Wonderful is a big word. So, but these when you really when are. you get into it, there's like turbo lag, and then you get to around two grand, twenty five hundred, and then it hits until like yeah. four four grand. So you have this tiny little power band. It yeah. basically it's a lot like the um the Bentley uh, and the Rolls Royce six point seven five liter <laughs> turbo. Yeah, that's like that. That. you, 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 you know, they, ever hear that, that comparison. They're indis- <laughs> you're, you're, you're correct, Tony. They're indistinguishable from the Bentley Rolls Royce. Power, like, power, power delivery wise, wise. Power delivery wise. Wait, go, oh, go back, go back, go back quarter. to the spec page. Go back to the spec page, and I can confirm my aha moment. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Forty eight hundred RPM red line. Love it. Here. I know it's so low revving. Push rods, yeah. hydraulic push liquid. rods. That's what they have in common with that engine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Push rods. <laughs> you know, these the, 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 the major mitigating factor against these things is they're built to those exact to the standards of early 90s General Motors. Which is exactly. correct and reliable, turnkey reliability. Stop. Uh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, you know what's reliable? Is that the lumbar? It rattles. It is very back, reliably rattly. Yeah. God, that. So yeah, it's got a little lumbar. Am I, am I frozen? <laughs> Blood pressure. No, it's got a little lumbar blood pressure. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that oh, what that was? God. Yeah. Uh, Tony, I just want you, I just want to note that this is the second time that you have recommended an SUV from this generation of General Motors. Uh, the Bravada, wasn't that the other one? Yeah. Yeah. And I won. So I'm going to stick with it and continue to yeah. win. And wait, go, go back to that, the blood pressure thing. In a minute. Do you guys know where the gauges are from? This is the GM pulled the gauges out of one of their existing. That's tur- that's out of a Sunbird Turbo. That's right, perfectly. <laughs> yeah. One Sunbird and, Turbo. And the tur- and the and the shifter is out of a Corvette. Wait, well, a different red line though. Different yes, of line. course, it's got a different tack since it. Uh, yeah, it's, it, but it's uh, it was the only other thing that had a boost gauge. Yeah. I think it's the same tack. It's just the it's red t- lines drawn it's, different. Yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah that's different ink. It's, it's Sunbird Turbo and the. Uh, <laughs> So they paid somebody with like a black marker and then it was all like were, these were made by um performance automotive 
what was it? Performance automotive. I don't know. I go back and read my. I'll go, I'll go back and read my services. Store. Production automotive services. This is the same company that built the um, the anniversary, the eighty nine turbocharged uh, Trans Am. Well, this is this is why I was able to talk them into it at Carcraft, just because they cared more about Carcraft than they did about the big magazines. So, I, that's why I got it first. Where's that? My big first coup. Where's the blood pressure? Uh... I'm pretty sure Car and Driver got it pretty early too, Pearly. <laughs> got it after me. Got it after me. Um, no, no, our bumper isn't one that. Best. Hold on. So where do you? Can you sit in the seat and use that, or do yeah, you have to in the front. drive it with your left hand? Is that in the? Is that the passenger seat? That's what I was trying to figure out. But I mean, do you? Is that the rear? You grab it and pull it up. This, 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 is, this is at that point in time where everything was inflated, like Reebok pump shoes that you used to be able to buy. This is the. Yeah, that was this, the thing. This is time. Oh. Is, this is the bladder. Moment. Pump it up. <laughs> Yeah, so that's. I think that's. I know I'm over budget, but I think we can negotiate down a little. You can't. You can't negotiate twenty five percent of the budget. Yeah, well, I, more, more time. I could have so easily just said last minute the budget's twenty five. <laughs> which, which I would what, not have been surprised about either. What is it? What, what is it? What is it? What is it? What does a typhoon go for? Uh, typically, typically, they're starting to rise, but uh, this one has twenty eight thousand miles too. So that's what I was going to say. I mean, I feel like you could buy that and just like revert it to back to uh, how it should look. And... If you could find those parts, I don't know how readily. Does this have a salvage title? Does this have a salvage title? He said it was wrecked. Does it have a salvage title? I think it does because he bought it from the insurance company, so it, it does have a suspect title. But low mileage, the engine. I, I don't know if I even got to. The, there's so many photos. I don't even know if I got to the engine shots. No, we did not see any engine Where's shots. Him? I'll get to the engine shots here. Sleeper for sure. There's no, I don't think there's any arguing that. Uh, total sleeper. And Casey, the tires are TPC spec. Are they really? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I was going to say, I thought that, uh, what is it? Was it a, is it a Uniroyal? Yeah, I think it is a Uniroyal. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I was like, I, I'm pretty sure my buddy's Jimmy had that same Uniroyal on it. So, so. I, I looked for the date codes. I, they're probably like 40, 30 year old tires. But <laughs> Why does it say Cyclone on the intake manifold? Because they, they had the same, they had the same title. They didn't change it for the type. They didn't put type in for it. They just exactly. really that's wild. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and then the emissions equipment. The engine's called Cyclone for whatever mm -hmm. reason. Yeah, they probably yeah the engine's called Cyclone. Uh oh, Pearly, was that you? That's you. That's your thing saying I should be ready for a. For I, a I saw a yellow bar pop up around Pearly for that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is the part of the show where we uh, judge each other's picks and eventually crown a winner. Mr. Pearly Huffman, Toyota Tundra with 100,000 miles, just over budget, 381 horsepower V8. I'm going to give you that. Thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, give on. me a thumbs up. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Casey. Jason Come on, Casey. Am I the only holdout? No, I was Jason. kind of waiting to see what Jason did. <laughs> no way. Okay, I'll give you a thumbs up because it seems like Jason's going down. Jason. Wait, hold on. How many of these do, do we get to vote for? One? Yeah, yeah, we vote on everybody's. And then he person. picks his favorite. Yeah. No, he picks his favorite. Yeah, that's the... So go ahead, Jason. Thumbs up. Yeah. Sideways. Pearly does not win. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Jason, does that matter? In the world and Pearly isn't winning. I was going to say, wait, hold on. Is, it, is there a quota on, on votes, Jason? I didn't, you only look, have I didn't, so many Wait, wait, wait. wait. I, 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 yeah, I have so many Fs I can give and so many votes I can give. But no, no, no. Just, no one tells me the rules have changed. I so, told uh, you. I told you. you. Yeah, they, they, these are available on YouTube. You should be like, able to go back and watch them. Like I don't have time here. for this. Like, All right, so yeah, I can give subscribe. thumbs up or down. Or sideways. For each car. Or sideways. Yes. And it, yeah. yes, okay, fair enough. But I will did, say that I did race a 5.7 Tundra while pulling my E30 against an E30. And yeah. the 5.7 Tundra was actually quicker than the E30 pulling an E30. Yeah, but they're, they're but I'm still giving it sideways. Because not why, side, why sideways? Because it's, it's, a it's, a sleeper. it's a pickup truck. They're all fast. <laughs> for me, a sleeper what? for me, though. Oh, wait, a second, wait a second. <laughs> wait a second. When did we get to the old pickup trucks are fast? You sure. all lead such different lives than I you do. Know, Where is you know, this? They're all they're ridiculous. I mean, you get an EcoBoost F-150, the thing does 5.2 to 60 with a 2.7. That's, I mean, come but on. That's, but that's a modern, I mean, that's a modern truck. They're all that way. A Nissan Titan with that 5.6. Oh, they do burnouts all day. No, no, no. Pickup trucks are all fast. Wow. Not Mine good. isn't. Okay. <laughs> My say. Isuzu Pup wasn't fast either, but you know. They're not. All right. Curly, what's your favorite car? <laughs> Well, I'm eliminating the A8s from the simple thing that I hate my HOA. 
Okay, so um, between uh, Jason's Jason's swapped cars and well, I, th I think we know where this is going. You know, when you get right down to it, as <laughs> oh much my as god, I, as much as I want to go for Jason's car, really, yeah, just, stop it. Just, just give for us the, the antisocial rash that we come with it. I, I got to go for the typhoon. <laughs> god. And I wish I could. This, say, this yeah. is like the third oh. week you've, you've given that speech, Pearly, isn't it? Where <laughs> we we got to pretend we don't nothing, know no, where nothing you're going. Get, nothing, nothing gives me a greater joy than voting against Tony, and nothing pains me more than voting for him. More often. So, <laughs> no. all right. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, what next, Casey. Think I did. Yeah. Thumbs up. Oh man, W twelve totally. I mean. Sorry. Sorry. Nothing. I, I, I just I can't get past my personal animosity towards AA. <laughs> so you, you just hate the potential reliability headaches, right? Well, that and my HOA. Oh, right, right, right. You got to get past that, man. Yeah, well, you got to. Yeah, the car, not the people that drive them. No, nah. you're, you're working for the big boys now. You got you got to have an objective mind. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what the show is all about. Objectivity, really. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 that's what it's about. That's what it's about. It's just about dis, dispassionate assessments. It's a uh, court of law. Issue. All right, uh, Casey, what are you picking? What's your favorite car? So I, so for me, like uh, the idea of a sleeper or a Q ship, there's also an element of sustained high speed travel. And um, there's only one other car that, that fits the bill and that's the S8. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the Tundra is probably governed to like 99. I don't even think that can hit triple digit <laughs> speed. You know, Q rated tires. I've got, I've, I've, got I've got 110 in my Tundra, so I know they're faster than me. I'm, my car is on S-rated tires. <laughs> That's what it was on, but I mean, <laughs> I don't know if those things would make, I mean, how quick until they explode. That'd be a yeah, fun test. That'd no, be fun to buy that. I don't want to be in the car when it happens. Paul Sherman, he'll do that. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> All right, Jason, um, which car, you have to pick one car. What do you want Jeep. to see? Jeep. The Jeep? Sideways. I, I like yeah, I, I, like, it. It's I don't sideways. think it's a sleeper. I don't think it's a sleeper. I like the car. I don't think it's a sleeper. So he, he did it. I love how Jonathan does the pick a sleeper. He's like, here, put these 21 inch rims on my car. The <laughs> black car with with like enormous rims and oh, are you attacking me? Tint. <laughs> He's the only one that gave you the thumbs up. There's not that's I after I, that's, that's after I win the challenge. I'm, oh, I'm not oh. doing that before I win the challenge. I win Another the challenge. Little change the I didn't know end. about. It's all good. Then I drive from my victory to eBay and go <laughs> I, get think, I think it would have been more of a sleeper if it didn't have the Hellcat uh, kitty on it. Yeah, true. Yeah. But that's 50 cents to pop it off. And then right, it's also that like exhaust, exhaust in the rear, like. Yeah, well. What's yeah, your I, favorite car, Jason? Which are, which of the sleepers is the most sleepery? He's not gonna pick the Tundra, but you should. Well, so <laughs> actually, since it wasn't actually my choice, it would be the two JZ swapped um, car, but no, actually it's Typhoon. So what? what? It's, typhoon. it's Typhoon. There's, you can't beat that for a sleeper. That's why I'm annoyed that Tony. You can't beat that for it. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah, I, I, it looks like a GMC judging, I asked why we're judging the sleeper or the speed. And, you, like and we keep How much do you think that steering place. column like, shakes at like 95 <laughs> miles an hour? I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Fine. It doesn't matter. Fine. It doesn't matter. But by the time it's doing 90, it will have dusted most other cars. And so. Yeah, and it will have shredded the tires and it would be. Running off into some sort of train. It does 90 and an eighth of a mile and 94 in the quarter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally fine with me. You don't really. So, Casey, your whole thing about just, you know, extended to high speed, we don't have that in this country. Yes, without we do. going to jail. I'm, I'm, not I'm legally. I'm pretty we're fast supposed, across the country. We are supposed to be, we are supposed to be held to the highest standard. We're not supposed to be terrible behaved. Well, I mean, Texas is 80 miles an hour. Oh, that's fine. Current driver invented the, the outlaw. The outlaw cross country race. Jason, Jason, you've changed your tune since you started working for the insurance company. Yeah. <laughs> really? Good. I guess you didn't see the video where in the Maki -E, I tested to see if it was a real Mustang to see if it would aim for pedestrians and run them over. Um, so you should go watch my Maki. -E I, I will watch that. That sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was a bit of a. You didn't setup, try oversteering did. out of every cars and coffee you could find. I did. That was the whole idea. Okay. Was it? We'll okay. know yeah. if it's a real Mustang because it throws itself sideways under power. And I'm sure I said in the video, I'm sure if there were pedestrians around, it Wait. would get them. Yeah. <laughs> and I, we simulated that. All right, KC, W12, wait, who went next? I already went. Oh no, John. John. Here comes an edit. John. I like the essay. <laughs> Love it. I'll I'll take about it. Oh, early oh, again. Of course. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I, have to remain, I have to remain consistent with my standards. But it's a V10. It's a, it's a grenade. 
It's a grenade. It's, 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 it's a it's, really great sounding grenade. It's that, when you hit that start button, when you hit that start button and you hear the starter like spin the engine probably four times before it actually fires, eh, it's worthwhile. Mm. And when it, it doesn't really start good. eventually, you just love to hear that starter engine. No, yeah, the, the, starter the, the W12 starter would sound better, actually. Yeah, yeah. Would, get the, would win yeah. the. Right. You know, we get right down to it. You know, this is going to be great for everybody who's like a starter motor enthusiast. Yeah. <laughs> I'm one of them. I, I really do enjoy the starter sound motor starter trend. Motor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that should be so many next, jokes in there. That, that, should uh, that should be your next. That should be your next. Your next book brilliant. that you put together. For yeah. Starter oh. motor trend is going to be next. All right, Jonathan. Who are you voting for? Well, Tundra, Tundra, Tundra. I mean, yeah, I got to go with your W12. I mean, no, what else? Oh, would you two get a room? Friends. <laughs> this, is, this has never happened. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> you guys are saying. bonding over A8s. Well, yeah. uh, throw up. What, what better car to bond over <laughs> than uh, oh, God, so many, so many cars are better than that. All right. And then the finally, There's the so uh, many generations of Tundra. Wait, 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 wait a second. I just want to point the point out the fundamental unfairness that goes on here by tony acting last he's ahead right now with two votes if he votes for either of the a8s he ends up with a tie yeah, what if, he did last tundra? Week. if he votes for the tundra he wins so i just want to point out that tony has an incentive to vote for the tundra let's see how he deals with this ethical conundrum <laughs> i'm going to deal with it by what you guys have thumbs up and thumbs down on the uh blazer disguise the typhoon disguised as a regular blazer Sideways, Jonathan. Come on. I mean, I, I would never ever have anything to do with any of those vehicles, but I appreciate what they were and uh, what they meant. But I mean, just miserable stuff. Miserable. Oh, I just especially at twenty some years old. Oh, wow. Thirty. Yeah. Thirty. Almost thirty. Yeah, thirty. Oh man. 30, yeah. Twenty eight thirty year old tires. It'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be so far over budget when you find Michelins for it. <laughs> 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 no, I get the Firehawk SVXs that came on the original. Yeah, Firehawks on. Right. <laughs> All right. Getting those uh, from Coker. And then I, I, Jason, which car did you find? You were the Grand Cherokee, right? Okay. Yeah. Casey, but you're going to vote for, so you win the whole thing. So. Well, I can vote for Pearly too. <laughs> but but then you'd be voting. This is like this Pearl. is like UN Security <laughs> Council. Like, am I going to have to burn this vote so we don't have to deal yes. with this? Yep, sure. <laughs> so uh, if there are any strange cuts in this audience you'll know what happened <laughs> <laughs> you should insert a bunch of horrible cuts in the right background now is just... <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> all right watch this go ahead just go ahead vote for the tundra and give yourself a victory um okay i'll vote for the tundra pearly <laughs> <There you go. laughs> oh my god what is wrong with you tony i mean really really i had to secure my victory <laughs> <laughs> oh wow my, right. you gotta you gotta start being a little more honest because this is two weeks in a row you've done that I liked his SL last week. I liked his SL. You know, I, I have, you know, the thing is, is that I have great taste. I have <laughs> discerning. I have discerning. I have a discerning palate. And according you guys, to who? Me, according to me, according to Road and Track Magazine, that hired me. <laughs> but, the, guy, the guy gets one vote, and now he starts talking himself up. Yeah, he gets one vote. <laughs> he gets one vote, and it's just pinkies in the air. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You hear the champagne corks going. Like, what? What are you doing? Well, I, I don't, I don't know about you people, but you know, I work for a high-end magazine. All right, thanks, John. John radio Trump voice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's not radio voice. I was trying to do Thurston Howell with third voice. So what the hell? Right. Yeah. Any voice. I'll, 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 uh, I'll honor a bingo on that. <laughs> I can do the radio voice. If you want that? All right. Well, that brings us to the end of this episode. Thanks for joining us, Jason. Thanks for having on such me. short notice. It was on very short notice too. Yeah, go, go back really and watch some more episodes, Jason. We're all watching your stuff. I have stuff. scripts to write. I have food to eat and you know things, <laughs> <laughs> and also eight broken cars to tend to. So that's what I'm really going to do. Okay. All right. Well, Thanks, um, please subscribe and like, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. edition GMC Cyclone. Technology that speaks for itself. In fact, your GMC truck dealer would like to show you only one more Cyclone feature.